What's up everybody, CLT Giles here, and this is random vlog number three. This video might not be for everybody. If you guys don't like this, it's all good. I'm just talking, so. I've been watching a lot of videos lately on that we live in a computer simulation. You know, um, a lot of videos I saw, there was professors and scientists that actually believe that we live in the Matrix. Well, not the Matrix, I'm sorry, but the computer simulation. And it made me think a lot. And it's like, you know, I grew up religious. Well, not really super religious, but, you know, I was always taught that there was a God. And, you know, the Bible and everything. And I still, I say I'm agnostic now. That, like, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know if I believe in God or not. I mean, I would like to. I would think that, you know. It's awesome. I mean, you can't go wrong with loving your neighbor, loving your neighbor, and you know, you know, a lot of the principles of Jesus are really great. But anyway, so I've had a lot of deja vu's, you know, like a lot, <laughs> especially at work. I'm at this job, my old job, and, and it just does make me think. It makes me really like, cause I don't know anybody who has. Or can explain deja vu. And it creeps the hell out of me. It creeps me out big time. And but anyway, so this is run a vlog, but this is also a question to my Game of Thrones fans. So if there is a God, if God is real, he's really like the only person who could be really be inside our heads. You know? Um Nobody could really be inside your head. I mean, somebody you love or somebody you have been married to, who you feel you think alike, you could feel like you know what they're thinking or they know what you're thinking. And But, I mean, they really can't be inside your head. And, you know, Game of Thrones is really the first novels where I've discovered, like, POV chapters. And I was talking to Jerry the Targaryen about this yesterday and I was asking him because I haven't really read a lot of books I mean I read a book called Behold a Pale Horse and it was about UFOs and alien discoveries and that was like the first book I really wrote from front, read from front to back and I just wasn't really a big reader and when Game of Thrones came out it got me to you know after season two I was just so bored waiting for season three that I read all five books until season three came out. And. You know. If I was a POV. And people could read my story. You know about my life. What would they think about me? Would they think I was an honorable man? Or was. Am I a good guy? Or you know. And it's like. If we're in the matrix. You know. And there's somebody watching us. Or whatever. They know. What type of guy I am. If I'm a good guy, you know, and I would like to think, yeah, you know, that I'm a good guy, that I'm an honorable guy. When I meet somebody for coffee, I'm there early. Um, I, I, I am a man of my word. I've always felt like that every girl I've ever dated, I've never cheated. And, you know, I treat women with respect. I work hard. I try to be a good guy. I feel like I'm an honorable man, you know, and when I pass away, and I'm buried, I would like to it put on my my tombstone that I was an honorable man. You know, that's why I like Ned Stark so much, that he was considered an honorable man. And I just love that about Ned Stark, you know, and I would like that to be said about me. But it's like, my question, I guess my question to all of you guys, all my Game of Thrones fans, is what do you think... You know, people think about you if they're inside your head, if you were a POV, you know, and just in life, you know, and what you're doing or whatever. Um, I'd like to hear that in the comments. You know, I already said what I would think about me. But like, you know, let me know what you guys think people would say about you if you were a POV, you know, just regardless in like a book. You know, it's like crazy because like a lot of people have told me that, you know, when you go to Judgment Day and talk to God. That he's going to have a book and it's your life and he's going to go back to it, whatever. If that's the case, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's true, you know? 
But yeah, like I'd love to hear from you guys and hear your thoughts. But this is Sir Ochi Giles, and this is Random Vlog number three.